Hey, Gemini gang. What's happening, Geminis? All Gemini placements take what resonates and leave the rest. Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Y'all are greatly appreciated. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Also, the personal readings are through my website, you guys, if you want to book directly with me. If you want to try Mystic Sense, try that out. There's a discount code and um, five minutes free. I've heard good things about it, you guys. So if you want to try that instead, you can, Gemini. Okay. Always check out the affiliate links, y'all, to see what's down now. Might be something you need. <laughs> All right, so we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, Gemini. So there's some new, new energy out here. Yeah. All right, I'll take the top one. Okay, so now nothing wants to flip out. Uh, it's safe for you to love. Um, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So again, we're seeing something about like the heart chakra. Um, opening yourself up to love or whatever. Some of you are doing that or you have been doing that. And that is what is going to attract love to you, Gemini's. So we have flirt, mm -hmm, of course, and then we have attraction. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, a Gemini. All right. Okay, interesting. So we have the Page of Swords. Could be someone younger than you, um, Gemini's doesn't have to be uh it could be that this is just a new situation uh gemini is the judgment mm -hmm. the queen of swords the king of cups and the fool on the bottom so gemini's um heavy scorpio energy which makes sense because we do have that eclipse on friday in scorpio so it's going to be a lot of emotions running high around that time okay so just be mindful of that Gemini it's gonna be a lot of transformations um, yeah it's gonna be a lot of changes you may already start feeling the effects of it uh, now or within the last couple of days okay so I feel like Gemini's I'm seeing something here where you're needing to make a decision about something like I feel like you are needing to um, decide if you are going to work this out whatever this is uh gemini's because i'm seeing a new opportunity for you now we'll pull more cards and see what else comes out but i'm seeing here something that is going to require you to take a leap of faith but some of you may be um you may be still stuck on someone else or like you're in some type of hope that something else is going to uh, resurface or rekindle like this. And this involves a lot of self-reflection and a lot of honesty, Gemini's, okay, because sometimes people are in denial about what they want and who they want. You tell yourself you don't want a person back, but you can't stop thinking about that person or you're watching readings on that person or you're getting readings on that person so you do want that person back or you're at least curious about where it's going or the possibility of reconciliation so i feel like gemini's something here is requiring you to be very clear about what you want so is it this person or is it something else or something new it could also be your the person in your energy is needing to do this Ciao. Not the tower. What, Gemini's? 
we see the nine of cups now hmm, first of all the page of swords i'm getting two different things because the page of swords can be about communication so someone may communicate something that's going to cause a tower moment or um either you or someone in your energy is like watching and spying and something that they see is going to cause a tower moment uh gemini's take that how it resonates okay Something here is going to cause a tower moment. Something communication based or somebody's watching you. You're watching somebody, Gemini's. And somebody's going to come across something that um, is going to piss them off. And that's another Scorpio card, you guys. We have three Scorpio cards here. With the Scorpio eclipse coming up. So, honey, with that tower there. Be careful out here in these streets. Ooh, child. Yeah, the Three of Swords. Mm, gosh, the Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, whoever this is is definitely a past situation. Yep, definitely a past situation. I feel like some of you guys are wondering if, if you want to go back to this or if you want to go back to dealing with this person but this can also be about especially with this eclipse coming up like triggers coming up for you gemini's um past hurts coming up i feel like try not to um project your triggers onto others um this could go for your person as well because this whatever triggers or whatever pain or heartbreaks or whatever comes up for you during this time is meant to be evaluated so it can be um, dealt with so you can move forward and get what it is that you want. Lots of knights. We have the knight of swords on the bottom. The knight of cups here. So I do see a love offer for you, Gemini's. Someone does want to offer love. And again, it could be something resurrecting that hurt you, um, Gemini's. Or there was a, a, you're in separation with someone and it's legit wanting to come back. This is legit what this is. Like the Three of Swords can be about a separation. And then here you have this um, pretty much just rising from the dead type of situation. But you have to decide if you even want this person, Gemini, or decide what you want in general from a partnership. Because you may go back and forth and with, with yourself a lot. And it shows up in your manifestations as far as you trying to manifest love or whatever the case may be. Um, Gemini's. Yep, the Ten of Pentacles. And the Justice card. Whoa. So let me say this. Someone may legit beg you to not move on someone may beg you to give you for another chance uh, Gemini's but I feel like someone here is seeing you as like very solid very stable um, this could be this person now whereas that it may not have been the case before like this person is trying to get very solid and stable within themselves as well but I feel like someone is not is wanting you to not move on from them yeah I'm also getting like marriage vibes like this person sees marriage with you which I see that for you guys all the time that this person sees like long term with you um Gemini's I'm seeing some type of communication here some type of tower moment and like I said this person's spying this person might be spying on you and is going to see something that uh, they don't necessarily want to see. Gemini's. Even if they, um, yeah. <laughs> the Four of Cups, you guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep, the Five of Wands. That's exactly what I thought. <clears throat> so I feel like, Gemini's, um, you may find out somebody is spying on you. Yep. You may find out somebody's spying on you. But the Four of Cups can also be about um, looking at it, going back and looking at a situation. Kind of like the Judgment card here. 
So I feel like this person might be um, trying to figure out like what you're doing, who you're doing it with. This person may have tried to move on from you. They may have even like tried to see other people and everything else, but it didn't work out. I feel like nothing is really working out for this person. Um, you know, ever since you guys have stopped talking or you guys have kind of separated, nothing's really working out for them. <sighs> Y'all. <laughs> the moon. Mm, mm, mm. And the Seven of Swords, y'all, with the Seven of Cups, yeah. So, with this energy, Geminis, I feel like, first of all, someone is hurt. Someone is hurt, someone is heartbroken, somebody is insecure. And again, this could be you, Geminis. You could be feeling like <clears throat> this person hurt you, or this person, um, you know, hid things from you, which is possible. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of you two might be avoiding, uh, avoiding this person or they're avoiding you. I'm just getting a lot of energy of someone not really, um, fessing up to what's going on or fessing up to how they feel. That's what I'm seeing. I don't feel like that's going to be a forever thing. Ten of cups on the bottom. So I don't feel like that's going to be a forever thing, Gemini's, but I do see that, um, heavy spying energy. It's almost as if, too, this person might have uh, other people spying on you as well, watching you, um, Geminis. And also, they may have someone around them. Now, this is a different energy that I got last time. They may have someone around, around them that tells them stuff that isn't totally true. Like, yeah, you know, I saw Gemini at... Um, you know, at the club and Gemini was all hugged up with somebody else. And I don't feel like that's necessarily the truth. Um, Gemini's, but this, it could, it could also be though, this person creating scenarios in their head that aren't true. It may, oh my gosh, y'all, what the hell is going on? What the hell y'all? The fucking devil. But we are seeing the Queen of Cups under that. So you could be dealing with a Divine Counterpart, Geminis. The Five of Swords here with the Eight of Wands. You are going to get communication from this person now. Is it communication that you want? <laughs> I can't totally say. Because I feel like this person is feeling a little bit combative. Like I said, they feel like you are moving on from them. They don't want you to move on from them. They're feeling insecure. They're feeling like um they're feeling like you're not telling them the truth about something. Gemini's, they feel like you're the one that's not telling the truth. And they want to find out the truth. That's why they spy and lurk and stalk and do all these different things. And then they create these scenarios in their head that isn't totally accurate so if this person may have saw you could have posted you know a co-worker on your facebook or whatever and even if it says you know yeah i'm at work and you know this is blah 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 and this person's going to twist com completely twist around what they see gemini's to make it seem like you know you just been out here doing dirt the whole time instead of being accountable for their own actions and for their own shit Gemini, I don't know what kind of person you have on your hands. Somebody here is not mentally stable. I'm seeing some bipolar here. Definitely someone that creates things that aren't real. And I feel like they're creating things that aren't real. And I feel like this person feels like you are not telling them the truth about something. Gemini's. Someone feels like you're not being honest. And so with that, I feel like that's why they lurk on you. All the time and the trains passing thank you spirit yeah there's something heavily karmic between you two and not, like i've said karma is not always bad um but i feel like yeah this person feels like some type of bond to you like a karmic bond soul bond something along the lines of that gemini's but yeah you have somebody obsessing over you they're emotionally codependent on you um Gemini's they're very hurt like I said I'm seeing like I'm seeing a tower moment 
between you two, especially with this with this uh, eclipse. I feel like heavily it's gonna be this week, especially with this eclipse and everything. Emotions are are like on the verge of erupting, and right now it's just bubbling up. It's like when you're boiling water. Is right now it's just bubbling up before it it overflows. That's that's what I'm seeing here. Ah. So, what well, first thing that pops out, I don't want anyone else to have you. I can't fucking make it up, Gemini's. Then we see fire sign on the bottom. So, it could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. But listen to what I tell you, Gemini's. <laughs> Didn't I say this person was dodging some type of accountability? This isn't my fault. So, whatever happened, this person feels like they didn't do it. Or they feel like you did it. I feel like this person, whatever they're, whatever happened, they're blaming you, Gemini's. Whatever happened, finding my way back by J uh, by Jaheen. Check out the song, you guys. Y'all know if I pull songs, check them out. This one fell out. Way more close by Young Blue and Big Sean. I told you, this person doesn't want anyone else to be with you. <laughs> so I'm seeing Who Knows by Music Soul Child and there's another song on there so I'm really heavy into music DFMU by LMA I love that song you guys let me get what fell on the floor <sighs> alright let's see oh <laughs> can I come over hmm they probably, if they know where you live, Gemini, they're probably already watching your house to see who's over there. Crazy. You're the only one I want. My goodness. I told you, Gemini's. Your love heals me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hours and Hours by Muni Long. Oh, I love that song. I don't think I've ever pulled that one for y'all. I love that song. I want to reach out, but I don't know what to say. I'm telling you, Gemini's. That's the vibe I get too. Like they they don't know what to say because they've done so much. And they, I, like I said, I also feel like they feel like there's someone else in the picture, um, Gemini's, within a week. So again, I have never pulled this for you guys either. I have time frames in the deck as well. So within a week, you, something's going to happen, Gemini's. And didn't I say on the fifth? Hmm. I miss hearing your voice. That tower moment. Oh, I made the wrong choice. The grass wasn't greener. Mm-hmm. <laughs> keeping secrets. What did I tell you? Now, it could be them. You could feel like they're they're keeping secrets. But I feel heavily like they feel like it's you, Gemini's. Wine and dine. Mm-hmm. They may come back on a different energy. I told you. I'm obsessed with you. I told you. Don't even trip, Gemini's. Don't even second guess it or question it. I regret taking you for granted because this person spies on you. They stalk you. Even though they try to play it cool. I'm better for you than they are. Hmm. They try to act like they don't care what they do. A lot. Who is that I saw you with? <laughs> hit that like, hit that subscribe, Gemini's. Thank you for watching. Peace out.